Karen Bryan for M. Mejita. I'm here with Uriah Hall. We're down at Rain Training Center, Mark Munoz's gym. And this is not your usual gym. What brought you out here? <laughs> um, you know, I was actually hanging out in the neighborhood, and, uh, you know, one of the guys I was hanging out with uh, invited me to come over and train with Mark. And I uh, came in, and it was a blast, man. These guys are amazing. You know, Mark's a great wrestler. I get a chance to work with uh, uh, Jake Ellenberger and a couple of the guys. I don't really know their names yet, but it's a really nice atmosphere. Well, today was nice. We had Brandon Schaub in here as well. Dennis Bermudez was mixing it up. I mean, that's the thing. I've come here for a long time to talk to guys, and every day you come in, you're like, oh, man, there's a superstar, and there's a superstar in the making. So it's kind of nice. It's kind of nice. Welcome, Uriah. Welcome. Um, so are you, you recently talked about leaving the gym that you were with, Tiger Shulman, and you were with them for a long time, and you're moving on. Is this something that you're doing? Are you kind of shopping around and looking for a place to call home? <laughs> <laughs> it is kind of something I'm doing. I'm shopping around, you know. And uh, the biggest thing you want to feel, you want to feel comfortable. And the atmosphere that I felt so far here is really warm. It's really nice. I don't really know what's going on in the future. You know, there's a lot of things that I'm working on as far as the management, management side of it, too. Um, but, you know, like I said, someone invited me out here to, uh, to check it out because he asked me if I want to train while I'm out here. And I was like, sure, why not? And, you know, he knows uh, Mark really well. And I jumped on the opportunity. And I met Mark previously before. So, you know, coming out here, I already felt, you know, welcome, and I felt even more welcome working with these guys. So it feels pretty nice. Yeah, I don't think you could meet a more um, a genuine person, as someone who genuinely wants people to do well. Yeah, Mark is a cool dude. Yeah. Strong dude. <laughs> yeah, I was just gonna say we saw you guys working together. That's one thing I was gonna say is nice about coming here is you're gonna you're gonna find guys your own size and bigger who are gonna stick it to you. Well, you know, me personally, I I like to step outside of my comfort zone, and that's something I recently start to focus on more. And you know, working with top athlete like these guys would be a blessing because it's only gonna get me better. And even if I fight someone that's better and stronger than me, I welcome that because I look at it as a growing you know sport, and I look at it me personally growing, getting better. I know you spend a lot of time with Miss Rousey. Has she been kicking your butt lately? <laughs> no, I don't spend that much time with her. No, I mean, it's, it's, it's cool. It's, hey, you know what? Is, you're, why not hang out with the champ? Uh, yeah, you know, um, I, was, I was explaining to someone earlier that she invited me out there uh, after uh, the tough finale, and uh, it was just a really warm atmosphere, and it was a positive vibe that I needed, and, you know, she's generally a nice girl, man. She's a sweetheart. And, and again, I, I kept saying, you know, she's a beast in the ring, but she's the sweetest person you'll ever meet outside and she's so good at what she does and just her attitude of how she carries herself it actually kind of motivated me in that sense you know and you know she, we spoke a little bit and she gave me some insights and stuff and I spoke to her coach too and uh, you know everything I'm looking at is to grow and I'm so happy that I can even call her a friend and for her even helping me right now so it's cool it's a blessing well, you did so well in the Ultimate Fighter, and the last fight did not go your way. But do you feel, in a way, that that could be a relief? That could be a, a, a burden off your shoulders, not having to carry, like, you're the winner, and now there's all this pressure to be amazing? Yeah, I mean, you know, when you, when you were on the show, I mean, uh, you know, none of this old publicity stuff was going on. So everybody felt at ease, relaxed, and as soon as the show came on and I blew up and all that stuff, I was like, whoa, what the? And then it just got overwhelming, and then there was all these news and interviews and oh he's the next this he's the next this and me generally i'm like i haven't earned that spot to even call myself one of those top ranking guys you know they they work their butt off to get there and i see myself doing the same and i guess it was pressure but i try not to feed into it you know and i guess making it towards the end was great but looking back now is more of the uh the outcome i'm sorry not the outcome the um the journey than the outcome because the outcome you can you don't know what's gonna really happen but the journey I've learned so much and I endured so much in that uncomfortable environment that I felt like, you know, even if I did lose, it, it, I don't think it would have hurt me as much. But you know what? I think it did something great for the UFC, too, because Kelvin was the uh, underdog and uh, it kind of brought him out of that low box to here. And it brought me from here to here. So it, it made it very even. I don't know if you paid any attention to the forums that said that you gave the fight to Kelvin. Uh, <laughs> as, a, as a gesture of you know kindness because you knew you were gonna have a great career and he needed it so the theory was that you gave him the fight no 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 uh, Kevin was a better man that night and there was a lot going on you know between I can't really talk about it you know and me going out there I felt a little different you know it was different environments different feel and, you know, I know Kelvin had really nothing to lose. And, you know, with me, all that hype, it was almost like expected. So it, it, it made him kind of go out there and say, you know, I got nothing to lose, so I, I got to beat this guy. And I guess he, he felt a lot better. But a part of me couldn't really, I don't know, I can't really explain it. 
because you know we're not the best of friends, but we were we were cool, and it was just a weird atmosphere. To, I'm like, oh my god, I'm playing Kelvin. What the hell? I was, we were just being these other guys. And again, I don't want to make excuses, but I know it was just a lot of weird things going on. And um, you know what? He showed up that night, so I have to give him his props for that. And so have they? They haven't given you a fight yet, have they? No, they haven't given me a fight yet. Uh, I even spoke to Lorenzo, and he was like, when you going back in there? And I'm like, uh, you know, I just got to take care of some stuff. And um, once I take care of that, I'm back in business. You would probably be a pretty good person to have on the August card, the first uh, Fox Sports 1 card. I'm just saying, that well, could be pretty good. That would be great. I'm looking for that, you know. If I can take care of one of my to take care of soon enough, then that would be great. A lot of Jamaicans on the East Coast would make the trip to Boston. I know it. It would be great. I know. i got to represent for Jamaica, man. Irie. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much, Uriah. It's great Thank seeing you. you. Thank you for having me. Appreciate it. I'm Uriah Hall. You're watching MMA Heat.